This video is brought to you by the Genius Jam Track app. Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Are you ever practicing a tune and you hear something different in your head? You hear a change of groove, but there's nobody to bring that groove except little old you. Do you ever wish that Ron Carter and Tony Williams were with you as you practice footprints so that maybe Tony Williams can start to flirt with the double time feel a little bit and tempt Ron Carter to join him, but only for two bars while you practice? Or how about when they pull this amazingness off at the end of Miles' third chorus? It's right around 2.15 footprints from Miles Smiles when they do a metric modulation into a slow 4-4. Four four. Just momentarily. If I ever want to do this thing in my house, by myself, while I practice, the best way I know of is to just put on a metronome and have it click in 4-4 four, four, while I'm clapping 6-4 and maybe singing the melody to Footprints. Ba, 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 da, do, da, da, do, 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 do. So now I'm singing the melody, I'm listening to 4-4, four, four, but I'm feeling 6 in my heart. I'm clapping 6, but I'm hearing the way that 4 feels against 6. To really internalize it, now I think what I have to do is stop clapping and start improvising with this 4 feel and then come out of it. In it, out of it. That's the trick. This is a pretty good way to practice, but it doesn't quite sound like if you had Tony Williams and Ron Carter right over here in the room with you. Or like when Jeff Tane Watts and his group help launch Kenny Garrett from another kind of 6-4 groove into a, a very funky 4-4 four, four that comes straight out of the 6-4. I love this one. <laughs> It's the same, it takes the dotted quarter note out of the six feel, ba, 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 ba. But the band just starts playing a straight up rock beat over that four, and they do it for a really long time. There are so many exciting rhythmic possibilities to add to your playing, whether you're planning it out at your own instrument in your own house, or whether you're feeling it out on the bandstand with a band just improvising all of it in the moment. So maybe you want more out of your metronome. And if you do, well, there's an app for that. I've already talked about it on another review video that I did about the Genius Jam Tracks app. It's a great app, but it's gone through several updates since my original review of it. And I've been using it lately to try to up my rhythm game. I'd like to show you how I've been practicing with this app. First of all, there are two different modes that you can mess around with. One is the jam mode or jam session mode, and the other is the practice mode. In the jam session mode, there are two sliders. One is for rhythmic complexity and the other is for harmonic complexity. If you start at the beginning of the harmonic complexity slider, you have just basic triads. If you go to a two, you'll have the triads plus the seventh. So basically just what's written. Oh my gosh, and, and what's written is actually beautiful. It's a custom font that you won't see in your other play along apps that I think is really pleasing to the eye. I like that attention to detail. If you go to a three, then you're playing standard rootless jazz voicings. If you're at a four, they're more complicated. In a five, you're doing substitutions all the time. You have tritone substitutions and maybe two fives a step up and then right where, where they should occur is pretty hip. Rhythmic complexity works in the same way. It goes from very simple to much harder 
but it's all random in this jam mode. You don't know what's coming up. So check it out. Check out what happens if you if you set your rhythmic complexity, say, to a four, and, and the harmonic complexity is just set to a two here on a sleeping B. One cool thing about the app is that at the beginning of the tune, it will always start you off with the most basic kind of feel. So here, you know, it's a four on the floor kind of feel, or, or sometimes just an open four, like, but something that lets you know this is how the song feels. Then it gets more complicated. But as key points in the form come back around, say halfway through the form on most tunes, it will take you right back to that basic feel. So you can always predict, even though it's random in this jam mode, you can always predict that it's going to let you feel it in the most simple way at key points in the form. So check it out here as we get to the end of the tune, the randomizer is playing this cool 6-8 over 4-4. I'm digging it, but I know that 4-4 is coming back and I don't quite get into it the way that I should as the top of the tune comes around. It's a good practice. <laughs> Let me show you about practice mode now. In practice mode, you can choose to focus on ratios or groupings or other kinds of feels. You do that by simply clicking either on the ratios or the groupings or the other tab. And you can also select which instruments you want to take part in these options. Here I select all blues with eighth notes in groups of three, and I turn on only the bass and the drums. It's a really good challenge to see if you can keep yourself in the original groove even though the band is feeling something else. There's a lot of beauty in that. And then you can let yourself feel it the way that the band does and play accordingly. Here I am in practice mode playing C jam blues with groupings of triplets in groups of four with only the drums doing the groupings. Sometimes, I think most of the time, I like to only have the drums doing the thing that I set. I really like how that feels. And, and I almost always turn the piano all the way off, which is something you can do with the mixer slider. You can see that just hearing the drums playing groupings of triplets like that gave me all kinds of ideas that I probably wouldn't have had otherwise. You can also edit with the pencil up in the right hand corner. In this editing mode, you can select any time signature for a tune and any style such as swing, bossa nova, afro-cuban, even eighths, etc. <laughs> It's worth noting that they've been extra sensitive with the app because the creators are actually musicians. So for example, you will not see double time available if your tempo is 200, or triplets in groups of seven if the tempo is 260, etc. So what's available on these wheels? actually depends on what you have chosen for your tempo and your style. I think that's really cool. Another really cool feature is that there are a handful of songs, and here is a list of them, that already have built-in hits in the song, like they're integral to the song. For instance, Erigen. It's a really nice touch. I think my favorite thing about the app is the, is the jam mode and the rhythmic complexity slider. I like to keep it at about a four 
it's so fun because I never know what's coming up. Except for, like I said, right at the beginning of the tune, halfway through the tune, it'll, it'll always play simply. But I, other than that, I never know what's coming up. And I really like to just pretend like I'm actually at a gig with the band and they're doing things that they feel in the moment. <laughs> is so musical the instrument sounds are good the they've taken so many things into account voice leading for instance it's really nice I like I like the way that the piano plays when I have it turned up let's say you've got a new arrangement for your band of a tune that's typically in 4-4 but you want to try it out in 7-4 and see how it will feel with your whole rhythm section yeah you can do that it's in the edit section The last thing I'll tell you is that at the bottom, right in the middle, is a web button. Press it and it might take a second to load, but this is where you can learn all about the app if you have questions. This is like your instruction manual. I hope this has given you a few tools to help you with your rhythm game, to help you to start hearing more possibilities when you're improvising. If, if I just make this my focus for a week and just practice with this app with all of these things in mind and just keep messing with it and setting it to different, different, different grooves and feels and time signatures and tempos and random settings, especially during the pandemic, it did things for me that couldn't have been done otherwise. It really made me feel you know, kind of like there were people in the room with me. And I think that's important. Good luck in your practicing. Good luck with your rhythm. Thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button. And I will see you next time on Amy Nolte Music. If you heard it, I've got a little cold. That's why my voice is a little low. Almost better though. <laughs>